Greetings! Welcome to another quality upload from the original BVF. Alright, I have my Broadsword Destroyer Mark III fleet here taking on a level 35 Vega Cargo. Uh, as you see, I have my Broadswords in a line formation. They can fully auto this fleet with very minimal damage received. In fact, they can uh, probably hit four or five before they truly need to be brought in and repaired, and it's only a five second repair for each. Here we are, we're going up against a level 37. It's interesting, the, this fleet can hit level 37s on auto, but sometimes it doesn't work, as is demonstrated in this video. Other times, it works flawlessly with only one or two ships being destroyed. It's really hit or miss with the level 37s. And here we go with the uh, broadsword fleet again on another level 37, again fully automatic, and we have dramatically different results this time. It's, it's really odd, it's the same fleet, fully repaired, brought out to another level 37 cargo, and it just completely wipes the board with them. It's, it's really odd, it's, it's completely RNG hate. And here we go with uh, Rancor Battleship Mark II. Uh, it's a handy little fleet, very quick. Uh, all ships are free instant repair, no wait. Very cheap fleet to run. Uh, here we see it goes against a level 35 with very little damage truly considered. You lose one or two in a match, but again, they're completely free instant repair. Here we go again, uh, same Rancor Battleship Mark II going up against a level 37 on full automatic. Uh, the fleet just doesn't have the, the DPS required in order to be able to pr take out this uh, fleet in one hit. And so here we are with the same fleet, but this time what we do is we, we give a move order uh, 180 degrees from where they are. We want them to churn 90 degrees, so they're churned broadside to the fleet as they're coming on. And then we have them do a strafe order moving back, roughly about the same uh, length as their firing arcs are. And you'll see that it, it draws in the faster frigate and cruisers that the, uh, the six Rancors were able to put out enough fire to take them down easily. And then once those are taken care of, then you can either let them just continue on moving on their strafe order, or you give them a command to connect one of the battleships, and they will go after it and completely finish out the fleet. Again, it's full free instant repair. The, there is no waiting to repair these ships. And so with these fleets, you just basically remove all, out all the damaged ships and get the timer to beneath five minutes because any, any repair that is under five minutes is a free instant repair. And so with these broadswords, you'll see that it is actually five minutes and five seconds. So you have to just wait five seconds and it's a free instant repair. So you have maybe 40 seconds of actual repair time. Uh, including time to click on them and to get them back into the fleet. 40, 45 seconds to completely repair a, a fully damaged and dead uh, broadsword fleet. And here we have the fitting. I'm, I'm demonstrating it uh, visually. I also have the fittings in the uh, in the text of the video description, so you can see how I've configured these fleets. This is a more higher end, low uh, player, low to mid level players uh, setup. Uh, you m can put in lower fittings. You will not have the same results. Uh, you might top out at level 30 cargos or level 27 cargos. Uh, but regardless, it is a very good fleet to help grind out those blueprints. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.